Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to your March readings. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing, for your feedback, for your comments. Um, thank you for all the bookings. I have been um, busy giving all of you readings, so thank you so much for that. I am using a different camera right now, my computer camera, because my GoPro uh, broke, so it's going to go back for repairs. And um, of course, as always, I just wanted to say how grateful I am to have you uh, watch and subscribe, uh, like and share. Thank you so much. Um, my The cards that I've chosen um, are the same cards that I've always used, but my spread is a little bit different. It's still five card spread. However, it's been on my mind for quite some time to do something a little bit different. So it's still going to be a general reading, but the um, the way I'm doing it is slightly different. It shouldn't make much of a difference to you, if any. Uh, and hopefully, as always, um, it'll be as accurate as it possibly can be. And of course, it's a general reading, so it may not apply to everybody, in which case you are more than welcome to uh, book a reading with me. And the information you can find is below uh, on my address with my address uh, on my website. Okay, so let's get started with your readings. I will see you soon. Hello, Cancer people. Thank you so much for coming back. Let's start with the reading. When I was shuffling cards and when I asked Spirit to give me any kind of information uh, pertaining to people who are born under the sign of Cancer, what I saw was a vision of uh, a person getting out of bed uh, putting on their clothing and getting ready to embark on a busy day. And when I kept asking what this means, the feeling I kept getting around this person is that this person was alone. There was not a lot of help around uh, for this person. And not that the person was not well, but the, there was a feeling of being alone or being by themselves. Uh, what I also um, received from that message is that the person was getting ready for a very busy day, uh, potentially signifying that there is a huge workload or a lot of work to be done uh, ahead of them. So that's the message that I received as a vision when I was shuffling the cards. So let's see if the cards will corroborate. Hopefully they will corroborate what the, mess, uh, the vision I originally had. So in the position of present, the card that we have... The card is called Balance. Beautiful. This is Major Arcana, right off the bat. This is something that's happening within you. And Balance to me, this is number 11. Balance to me, this particular card represents, um, this, see this gentleman is holding um, all the tools. He has a sword, he has a chalice, he has um, a wand and a pentacle. So he has every resource available to his disposal and he's he's surrounded or engulfed in what looks like a, um, an orb or a, a light sphere of some sort, signifying connected connection to spirit. So what this card is saying to me is that at the present time, you, although you have a lot to juggle with, or you have a lot to juggle, you do have everything at your disposal to help you do what you need to do uh, in the time frame that you have. And even though you don't have anybody necessarily to help you with whatever that is, you have uh, the resources available to you to help you with every single step. Now, I don't know necessarily what this revol um, connects to. Uh, this could be health related. This could be work related. This could be general. So let's see what the rest of the cards say. Now, in a position of past influences, what we have, we have the card hope. This is another major arcana. And hope to me signifies that uh, sometime in the past, and the reason why you have all the resources available to you, that sometime in the past, you, um, despite going or undergoing difficult situations, you or situation, you... You had hope, 
And I want to stick with health first, and then I want to talk about relationships. Um, when I talk about health, I want to talk about someone who has been dealing with an issue pertaining to their health, and perhaps an illness that was quite significant. But even though the, the illness was quite significant, you never, you never um, cease to have hope and hope has always remained with you. And as a result, uh, you are able now to face anything that's um, uh, coming your way and you have all the resources available to you. Uh, when I wanna talk about uh, relationships, what this says to me is that um, if you are dealing with some difficulty in a relationship, uh, it, it you didn't lose hope and things have turned out uh, positively and to your liking, and as a result, you are able to move on and um, and find a state of balance within a relationship. So that's in the past. Now, in a position of future or potential future, we have the card called Fertility. And notice this is another major arcana card. So you have three major arcana cards right away. This card was shown to me in reverse. So what this is saying to me is that, and three is number of families, um, to me, relationships, families, alliances, and what this card represents to me is this. If First of all, if you are trying to get pregnant, um, it, um, I feel this, the time right now is not the best for you to get pregnant, whether it's because health connected or some other circumstances around you, mm -hmm. uh, the time is not an opportune time to, uh, to get pregnant. Um, if, when it, if it connects to your health, um, what I'm being shown is, let me just see what he says. What I'm being told is that things are going to be okay despite some ma uh, minor, minor, not major, minor setbacks. So if you are talking, if we are talking about health, if you are dealing with some kind of a health situation, um, things are going to be okay, but it looks like there might be minor setbacks along the way. So that's your possible future. Now, the reason behind all of this, we have the card called victory and success. This is all about your um, spiritual state of being or the spiritual part of you, your soul, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually a very good reading because what this says to me is the reason why you had hope and the reason why you have balance and the reason why you are doing as well as you are doing right now is because of your state of mind. And what I'm being shown is that you are someone who Despite significant setbacks, you never lose hope and you do your best to remain positive no matter what. And what my guide is saying to me is that that is the winning attitude uh, for someone who wants to achieve anything in life. And I think all of you, all of us know this. But uh, what they're saying is that the reason why you are doing so well, despite the things that have go on, gone on and the situations that were presented to you, is because you're, you never gave in to your fears and you always felt that there was an upside to even the most difficult of circumstances. Okay, so that's a very powerful reading. Excuse me. Now, the potential card, or what is potentially possible for you, what we have, the card is called power. Okay, you have four cards that are major arcana out of a five card reading. I don't think it gets any more powerful than this. The entire reading basically talks about your strength and power. Well, I don't need to decipher what that is. It basically says that you are out of, when you come out of this, you are going to be even more powerful or feel more powerful than you do right now. Eight is number of significant, um, I wanna say stability in this case. I mean, I'm hearing the word stability. So this, this reading, if I was to summarize it, I'm hearing the word 
overcoming difficulties and substantial obstacles and going through life with your head held high and having an optimistic and positive view uh, of your life and the world around you. And because of your attitude and because of your frame of mind, and I have to tell you, I don't feel that this necessarily came easy to you all your life. I feel you had to work on this at some point, and this wasn't necessarily how you always felt, meaning um, the ad having the attitude of even in the difficult of circumstances, in the most difficult of circumstances, there is something that can be taken from it in a positive way. I don't really always have that, but you've worked on this aspect of who you are, and that is very much uh, who you are today. So, the, the, all I can say about this reading is wow, because it is. It's very, very, very powerful. You have the power card as uh, the potential of what's happening. And though there are minor um, setbacks coming up, uh, it's, it's not going to rock your boat. In other words, you are still going to stay firmly um, connected and you're, you're still going to feel very grounded. So whatever the minor setbacks are, just continue doing what you've been doing um, as far as visualizing positive outcome and, and looking at the upside of things as opposed to the downside of things. Okay, please let me know if this makes sense to you. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, like I said um, before, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to everybody, and certainly not everybody will understand this or resonate with it. But if you would like a private reading, feel free to uh, email me or text me with the information below, and we can have a reading that's specifically tailored to you. Until April, I wish you best of luck. Keep up the phenomenal and amazing attitude. Uh, good luck to you, and have a wonderful day, and I will see you in April. Okay? Bye.